The counter-terrorism programme, as run by the British government in London, is coming under some serious criticism. Now, it's called Prevent. It's supposed to reduce the risk of attack by asking the public to report any suspects. But Muslims feel they're being unfairly targeted. Some in the community believe Prevent, in effect, turns teachers and lecturers into spies. Malia Bugatia is the Black Students Officer for the National Union of Students. She joins us now from Birmingham in the UK. Welcome to Al Jazeera. For you, what's the big issue here? Thank you very much. Um, really, it's um, the, the, the root intention of PREVENT that we believe is incredibly racist and actually quite Islamophobic. Um, it presents this idea that it's trying to deter people from, you know, partaking in certain violent activities and joining certain groups. But in reality, what we found is uh, the state's attempt to control dissent political self-organization and really present this notion of extremism that is so um, vague, that is so, um, what well, essentially is so vague that anything can fall under that, um, including any kind of resistance to political uh, agendas put forward by the government. But I there's a difference, surely, though, between being Islamophobic by desire and intent, i.e. the British government, trying to come up with a scheme to keep people safe and to make them feel as if they are safe, and how that scheme is interpreted and deployed by the people who feel there is an issue to be addressed, i.e. if they've got somebody in their class, somebody in their social network, for example, who they think might be questionable. I think that the way that uh, the prevent tra training uh, is is facilitated throughout, uh, you know, the education sector, for example, um, and and public services, uh, you find that actually it, there is an air of encouragement that you are that the government has created such a climate of utter fear that all those around you uh, could be potential extremists or terrorists that really dub as many names in as possible um, so that you could be cleared of that and that essentially everybody around you is rendered a suspect uh, without any proof and I think the main thing that we're really pushing for here is for the state to look at its own hand in creating a climate where such violence and crimes um, ha has been enacted. Why are we not looking at the root cause instead of just looking at the consequences uh, and, and really completely steering them and, and placing the blame on Muslim communities, namely? Because whilst it mentions any sort of extremism, um, the, the community that is predominantly targeted are the Muslims. Okay, when you talk about a climate of utter fear, can I suggest to you that that climate of utter fear wasn't perhaps created by governments because governments had to, and they had to be seen to reacting, say, to the events in Paris, Friday, November the 13th. 130 people lost their lives. So the UK government could not allow something like that to happen in London, in the city of Birmingham, where you're talking to us from. The climate of fear was created by the people who carried out those atrocities. They weren't, that climate of fear wasn't down to the British government. But what else can they implement? What else can they do to keep people safe? But it's incredibly problematic uh, when the narrative put forward and the solutions provided uh, place the blame on a, a faith for example. Um, and I think that also we cannot remove wider, um, you know, political questions, whether it's the, the, the government's hand in foreign policy or even um, the, the disenfranchisement of, of certain deprived communities and their utter demonization as a consequence. Um, how is it that you're going to essentially place the blame, um, that, you know, uh, on, on a whole community for the actions of a few, because that's essentially what the prevent agenda um, is, is telling us, that we, that all Muslims are prone to this sort of violence and need some sort of specific intervention, uh, instead of looking at the series of, of, um, of, of what are not uh, so-called coincidences. Malia Boutia, thank you very much.